it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's look, as you can see, I turned myself into like a fairy, I want to call myself. Um, I am so in love with how this came out. Um, these, the cut creases, I'm so proud because they came out really good and I didn't even like stress myself on doing them. So again, just practice. This is the look that I came out for today. I just love how the rhinestone like... I don't know, it like puts together the whole look. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this fairy look, then just keep on watching. Please excuse my eyelids. They're currently stained because of another tutorial that I filmed and I tried taking it off and it's not, it's not coming out. I'm just going to go with it because there's nothing else I can do. So um, today I'm like really excited because it's going to be a very like girly um, Halloween tutorial is going to be kind of like a fairy. I'm like really excited because I picked up this like face piece um, at the Halloween store and it looks so cute. So this is kind of like my inspiration of what I want I like to do, kind of like a fairy look. So Okay, so now that my face is on, my foundation, it's already set. If you guys haven't watched my eyebrow routine kind of like updated, I'm going to be linking it up here. I'm going to be using the uh, Beauty Beauty Bay Bright Matte EYN um, 42 Matte Colorful Palette. One of my favorite palettes ever. I love this thing. Like You have every color that you would need for a very colorful look. So it's going to be perfect for today's look. I'm going to be taking this pink right here, which is the second to last shade. And this is a Morphe M573. And oh, and that's my base. I forgot to mention. I'm using the P. Louise base in Rumor 02. Which they finally added them to the Morphe store. take this uh, Morphe M514 and I'm gonna go in I'm gonna combine um, the third this one this th third to last um, eyeshadow which is called cosmopolitan and I'm gonna um, mix it with sweet tooth which is a pink one the first one right here and I'm just gonna mix those two to kind of um, start blending my edges So I think I'm going to do a really easy cut crease um, so I can have like a white cut crease. Not white, but we're going to use a very pale pink to set that. And then after that, I think I'm going to use a pigment as a liner so that is very like um, sparkly. So I'm going to cut my crease and I'm just going to take a, a little bit of that P. Louise base. And this is a... Morphe M430 uh, 421, which is the one that I used to um, the one that I used to clean my brows. If you guys haven't watched my how to do a cut crease with hooded eyes, I'll link it up here because yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk during that this process. I'm going to go in with that, um, and I'm going to take that um, M573 and that Make the Wink, so that bright second to last pink, and I'm going to apply that one on my outer crease, just to blend this right here, and it's not like a super harsh line. Now I'm going to take this uh, M333 flat shader brush and I'm going to go in, in the I'm going to go in, in the Jawbreaker uh, palette from Jeffrey. Ah, 
which one of my favorite palettes. And I'm going to take the Good Morning shade, which is a super light pink. So any light pink you have at home would work. And I'm just going to dab this here and set that. And then I'm going to take the next... I'm going to take um, the shade Bubblegum, which is I, this one right here. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on the M514 and blend this middle part. And once you get the hang of um, like cutting your crease, you're going to automatically already know where to cut your crease so that you're kind of, you already see like your eye and know your eye shape. So it's easier, easier to cut it. And taking the bubblegum shade next to that and blending in the middle damn I really think this has been the fastest cut crease I've done <laughs> I'm telling you guys like it's it takes practice and like I really can't emphasize that enough okay so before I go in with my pigment as liner I'm gonna put a white base so that it looks more intense I'm taking my Suba um, Hydro Liner in this uh, shade Space Panda. Panda. I, I don't know why. Like I'm like, like excited. And I'm just gonna do a quick wing. Okay, so I know that I've talked about these pigments a lot on my channel and I love these pigments. I cannot emphasize enough how much I love these pigments and how beautiful they are. Um, they are from Peaches Makeup and I'm going to use the loose eyeshadow or pigment in the shade Pixie, which is a beautiful white with pinky and purple and iridescent like to it. And in order to make the eyeliner, I kind of go on top of that white eyeliner that I already have. I'm going to go in with the pigment drops. I mean, I like it. I don't know. We'll see right now. Okay. I'm going to move on because um, I thought it was going to look a little cooler. So, I may use another pigment that I have. I'm going to see this shade Watermelon. And maybe do like an ombre. So, I'm going to take my Hula Bronzer and very lightly contour my face just extremely light and just with the rest that's on that brush that we use the M514 I'm gonna drag this on the bottom of my lashes and I'm not grabbing any more product just with what's that what's left on the brush I'm just dragging it on the lower lash line so for my blush I'm actually gonna be combining I'm gonna combine the first two shades so I'm gonna be combining the first two shades this one and this one and then I'm also gonna be combining this one and, and because we are fairies I'm gonna keep it very on my kind of like apples of my cheeks as well as bring in a little bit on my nose. I'm gonna try this brush because it's not giving me what I want. There we go. And then I'm bringing it all the way on my nose. Okay, 
So what I did right now, I don't know if my camera was recording, I actually took that Pixi Pigment that I used for my eyeliner and put that as my highlight and then I went in with my Cookie Highlighter by Benefit on top of that. And now I'm going to go in and put a little bit of freckles, which I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to take again my Suba Beauty Eyeliner and with that same eyeliner brush, I'm going to be putting a little bit of um, water in it. Okay. And then I'm going to gonna like start putting a little bit of freckles. I wanted to shout out these lashes because I only use them when I'm doing like big looks like this. So I'm going to be taking my Tati lashes from uh, their collaboration with Mim Mitchell. And these are the TL Mitchell 2 which are, you're going to see, these lashes are This is harder than I thought. <laughs> okay, um, I'm guessing it goes here. Right? Oh, that, this is legit, guys. Like, ah, my lash. <laughs> my lash got a little bit glued on. Okay. Nice. Wow, this is beautiful. On your. Okay, these lashes are so big that my eyes are like starting to water because they're getting like dry down. So I'm just going to set my brows real quick because girl, even though literally I'm about to take this off right after this. I'm going to use Prom Night for my outer lips from Jeffree Star. And whew, we're going to be a pink fairy. And then I'm going to go in with doll parts on the middle. And because I want to go that extra, I'm going to put a little bit of the pigment and I'm going to place it on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. I actually put a little bit on my inner corner already. I'm going to go and do my hair real quick and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I am in love with how this came out. I just love everything about it. I can barely move this area. It's super like tight because of the glue of the thing. Um, but overall, like I really like how this came out. It's super simple, but yet I feel like it can really stand out with how you pair your eyes. Um, and definitely your lashes. These are like my favorite lashes to just do looks and just like have the attention on the eyes. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe a little bit down there. As always all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media and until then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! So the fun part is to take these off without ripping my skin off. <laughs> oh that was easier than expected.